girls. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Emily and I make videos about fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. And today I've got a very exciting video all about Botox. I'm going to share what I've had done personally and what I feel others should do with their thinking about Botox also. So as always, if you like this video, please go down there and hit that like button and consider subscribing. I've got a ton of fun videos for you to watch. So stay tuned, keep coming back. Okay, so Botox, it seems to be such a hot topic these days. Either people don't wanna discuss it because they don't wanna admit that they've personally had it done, or people want to speculate on who has or hasn't had Botox done. Guys, I'm going to keep it real as I always do on my channel. I've had Botox and I love it. I would never go back. So let's go back to my first experience with getting Botox. So in 2020, last March, I had my first round of Botox. I work in a mall and there was a salon spa in the mall that was having a special, probably because of the COVID <laughs> coronavirus that was going on. So they were trying to create more business. They had, they offered this special. If you got Botox and lip injections, it was a discounted rate. Okay. So both of those things I was excited to try and having just been laid off my job anyway, I figured, well, if it all goes wrong, no one's going to see me for a while. Okay. <laughs> And plus, I was thinking of embarking on a YouTube journey, which it's weird to think that it's almost been a year of being on YouTube and having an Instagram channel just devoted to fashion. Um, it just blows my mind that this has all been going on now for almost a year. And I like to thank everybody out there who's been watching my videos all this time and apologize. <laughs> for some of them that were really horrible, but I'm getting better and I'm learning. But anyway, I always like to keep things real on my channel and give you my honest opinion. And guys, I was feeling at 42, like I was getting a little bit of wrinkles. Um, I didn't like my, um, I had like a number 11, they call it, when you have the two lines here above your nose, when you kind of um, scowl. And I felt like my top lip could use a little bit more of an oomph, okay? So I went in and I got Botox and lip injections. So let me just briefly tell you my experience. So I went there and the injector, who was a uh, registered nurse, told me that I needed Botox in my chin, which I was not expecting. She said, because I have like what they call pebbling when I would make certain expressions, um, which is just like a rippling under the skin. It's completely normal. But once she showed me what it was, I was obsessed with it. I had never noticed that on myself before. And I was like, oh my gosh, yes, we have to put Botox here. I can't have pebbling. <laughs> So guys, I went in there just thinking I was going to get rid of my number 11 lines up here and I ended up getting Botox injected here in between my eyebrows, above my lip, which they call a lip flip, and in my chin. So what did I like about it? I initially liked the look of the lip flip. So what the Botox does is it just relaxes the muscles above your top lip so that it causes your top lip to kind of curve up a little bit. It just gives you a little bit of an upturned look to your top lip. But what they don't tell you is that it also makes controlling your mouth really difficult. Um, and it also goes away really quickly. So your mouth muscles are some of the strongest muscles in your face. And the Botox does not last very long when they put it there. So the lip flip only lasted a couple of months for me. And I honestly didn't notice that big of a difference. Um, 
And honestly, drinking out of a straw was difficult. Even sometimes talking and smiling felt weird, which is not what you want. We're going into Botox thinking this is going to make us look more youthful and more vibrant and young, right? What they don't tell you is that if you get it in the wrong spot, it can make you a drooling, <laughs> awkward, smiling weirdo, okay? <laughs> so I just want to share my experience with you girls so that you can make an informed decision about whether you would like to get Botox or not and where you might go to get your Botox, okay? So that's why I'm sharing all of this with you. So the Botox in the chin, I did not notice any difference. I don't think it really did much. The Botox on my upper lip um, just made it difficult to drink out of a straw and speak correctly for a while. I didn't really notice a huge difference there. Um, what I did really love though was the Botox here in between my eyebrows. I, I mean, this is, this is about as mean as I can look now. And that's what it looked like the first time as well. And I loved it. I was hooked. Okay. I was like this. I am definitely going to continue with because these very deep lines that I had there are gone. Gone. I couldn't believe it. So let's fast forward to March of 2021. I had not done any Botox for almost a year, okay? So I was completely out of Botox. Everything had come back. The lines between my eyebrows had come back. And I was really focusing on my forehead and my eyes because when you are out in the public, that's what people can see. And my eyes were looking really tired. So I have hooded eyes, which is where your um, your eyelid kind of droops a little bit, and it can make you look tired. Um, it's just a genetic thing. It runs in my family. We all have the hooded eyes. So it just kind of was making me feel like tired, and my face was just kind of like saggy right there, okay? And I was also starting to notice a line right here, like your crow's feet, they call it, that I wasn't really happy with. So right about the same time, there is an Instagrammer that I was following who had gotten some bad Botox. And I knew at that moment when I saw what had happened to her, that I was not going to go back to the salon suite again and have the Botox done there. Um, she had gotten a brow lift, which is where they put the Botox right above your eyebrow. And it just ever so gently raises up your eyebrow. And it just helps with if you do have like a hooded eye or a high, an eye that's just kind of looking a little bit saggy. And that's what I was really interested in doing next. Well, this girl had just had that procedure done in a salon spa and they injected too much. And so her eye now is like this. She can't open it fully. And this eye to compensate was opening way <laughs> hot mess. I mean, this poor girl. I just, I just, and she's an Instagram. I mean, she's, that's her business. That's her job. And when your job is your face and, you know, I just felt really bad for this girl, but I also knew that I was done with salon suites getting Botox. I called up my dermatologist. Now I always go to my dermatologist every year to have my skin checked because I have had like some precancerous things pop up on my face and he has burned them off and frozen them off with some ice for me before. And um, skin cancer runs in my family so I just always make sure I go to see him once a year for a full body skin check. So I was due for one of those. So what I did was um, I called and made an appointment for a full body skin check, but then I also told them that I was interested in getting Botox from the doctor as well at the same time. So I went to see my dermatologist who is a doctor and he's the one that injected my Botox this time. And I felt more comfortable in that situation, in a clinical setting, in a doctor's office, a trained doctor is injecting the Botox. So I felt much more comfortable this last time. And he didn't try to talk me into getting Botox 
anywhere around my mouth. In fact, he's the one that told me that Botox around your mouth does not last. He told me that the whole lip flip thing is not great for your mouth, for speech, for the things that your mouth needs to do, and that it just doesn't last and it's a waste of money. So he was very honest with me about that and I really appreciated that. He was not trying to sell me any more Botox than I needed. So what I explained to him was that I just wanted to focus on my forehead, my eyes, and I wanted to do a little bit of a brow lift. And so that's what we did. Altogether, I don't know exactly how many units, but it was about $450 for everything that we did. I did get a brow lift and I can see a big difference. My eyelids don't feel as heavy. I feel like my eyes are more open. And I got Botox all in my forehead. So I can still give emotion. I still have a few like little lines when I look surprised. Okay, my forehead's not completely frozen but the lines are gone. It is just smooth as a baby's butt up there, and I am so happy. He also injected right here, so when I smile, I just have a little, little bit of a normal, it's just a normal crease that you get when people smile there. So it's not as dramatic as it was before. So all in all, I am super happy with how my Botox turned out this last time. And I will never go back to the salon suite setting, nor do I recommend anyone get injected from Botox from anyone other than a doctor. So I think that Botox is a great tool to use for anti-aging as well as it can be used for so many other different applications um, to really help people and improve their lives. I think Botox is a great thing. I will never tell anyone to not get Botox, okay? Um, and I would never say, oh, I've never had it done. Okay, come on, let's be real. I've, I've had Botox and it's great and I love it. And I would recommend it to anyone who asked me about it, but just make sure you're getting it done by a doctor in an office setting and really focus on what area you feel like would make the biggest difference for you so that you're not wasting your money because it's not cheap, okay? But when done right, it can last you like six months, you know, four to six months. So I think it's definitely an investment in yourself and in your skin that really can make such an impact. So, let me know if you have any questions about Botox or about lip injections because I made another video all about that. So pop your questions down below and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. Thanks for watching.